All right, first grade, you've already practiced. You've done your sketch with your scrap paper. This is a sheet that's not mine. It's from the internet, okay? And go ahead. We're not going to fold it this time, but I want you to think about if the middle of your paper put a light little dot, have a horizontal line that goes like that. Remember, you can go back to your steps. I had two arms that going up, and you can change this. Start from the bottom, work your way up. If you don't want to go all the way up the top of the paper because you want to do some hair, you can leave it like this, or you can go all the way up and erase it. Remember, light, light till you get it right. Next step after that, we have a little space. Do a little dot if that helps you first, and then go outside, and you have an arch that goes both sides. I want you to think of a big football. You can decide what you want your lips to look like and then put a line in the center. After that artist, this is what I messed up the first time. Draw a little bit of a dot of a space and then I want you to practice with your finger first if you need to. If you notice artist, I have my messy mat out. So I have my messy mat out because my next step after this is to use my Sharpe because we're fancy. After this, find the middle of where your eyes are and the top. Remember we have a rainbow that goes this direction and a rainbow underneath making nice big giant abstract eyes that have to do. Uh, they are inspired because this is abstract. Remember we've been talking about Pablo Picasso. There's our parentheses. Do it on both sides. If you look at Mrs. Milligan's picture, this eye's huge. It's bigger than the other one. That's okay. I think it's cool. looks abstract. Now this artist, if you want to, you can go in and you can add more lines and you can paint that a different color. But remember, whatever you draw, maybe I'm going to have some fancy eyebrows, maybe this is going to be my hair. Whatever you draw with your pencil, you outline, meaning you take a line, you take a marker, and make it darker. Maybe you want to add, let me finish, put my shoulders in here. Maybe you want to add your clothes. Maybe you want to have like a zigzag line that's going to come over here. And then I would paint this one section a different color, this different color. Maybe you have it a mirror, reflection. Let's see. Oh, put some other stuff here. Put some buttons. But I want the whole thing to be filled in with color, baby color. And we are going to be painting. So the next step, artist, take out your Sharpe. Oh, please don't forget your name. Write your name with your sharp paint. I'm going to write mine going up the side of that. Put your teacher's code. No name, no fame. Teacher's code can be on the back, but please do write your first name. And I'm going to take a marker, make it darker. I'm going right on top of that line, artist. Do the whole thing, and then you're going to get Elvis and erase. Artist, do you see my mess? I'm going to keep it on my mat. I'm going to tap it. I'm going to wipe it very carefully. Then I'm going to make sure that I take this mat and I throw all these little pieces away. Okay, we have our finished project. Um, it's on a messy mat. Rearrange where you can get it. Share this with your shoulder buddy. I'm going to have mine sitting right here. Remember what we said, one cap at a time? I've already done the, um, the Sharpe. Choose what color you want. I'm going to go ahead and choose the red. When you paint artist, remember we only dip the tip. Be careful you're holding your paper like this. This is new paint. I haven't even used this. It's kind of liquidy. That's okay. And we dip the tip and it's just like coloring artist. We outline very carefully. Outline your shape or your space. And then after we have it outlined, I'm pulling it towards me. My hand is in the air. Then I have all this extra paint. What am I doing, artist? That's right, I'm using it up. I'm pulling it towards me. Before I want to switch to another color, I have to clean my brush. But I want to use more of this color. So, you know, decide what you want. Outline it first. Pull the brush towards you. Always have it on the messy mat. And then it goes on the drying rack. And remember, artist, bottoms up, buttercup. Okay, and then I think I'm going to do this, also the same color. Ooh, these are going to be really cool. Just getting a little bit of paint, moving it around. You don't have to paint the whole thing. Oh, I got outside the line, line a little bit. That's all right. You can leave some white spaces if you want. 
and then I have to be careful that my arm, see how my arm is up in the air, so that I'm not dipping through the paint. And let's see what else I want with this color. Oh, I want my cheeks with this color. And we always stop at the first timer when we paint. And we have to, when I say brushes up, what do we do? We finish with the paint that's on our brush. And then we have to stop, swirl in a number eight, swirl in a number eight, check the side, make sure it's nice and clean. Take your paper towel, dry it, reshape it, set it on the tray, and put my cap on. I'm almost done, artist. I want to show you that I actually did all warm colors, and I like the way it looks. This is just what I chose to do. Uh, you can do use your brush, Miss Paula, and just do little dots. You don't have to color the whole thing in. You do need to make careful when you're putting this on the rack that we leave it on the mat, and we say bottoms up, buttercup. And I think that looks done to me. I like all those colors. So I will clean my brush, swirl it in eight, take care of my stuff. Then when I'm done, I'll put it on the rack and I will pre-draw.